call our meeting to order and count, ask Councilman Woods to give us uh, an invocation for that. Oh, here we find your own. Thank you. Councilman Fessenden for attending us here. I'm probably going to speak on the city of Lexington. As far as I use the other people, we have Councilman Russell, we have Madam Deputy, Mr. Councilman Russell, the city treasurer, as well as Councilman Mayor Woods. And let us continue to use our meeting to give you some time to make all the plans. Our first item is to uh, install and swear in our council members that were uh, elected in the last election. So, um, uh, Judge Marquise is here, and those of you that just uh, were re-elected, if you will step forward and be sworn in. Thanks, Judge. You're, you're excused. <laughs> Slide on home for you. Thank you. There are parts when we need you. Uh, next up is approval of the agenda items. I know of no uh, additions or corrections to the uh, agenda. Does anyone else know of anything? If not, I'll entertain a motion that we approve the agenda as presented. So moved. Second. Second. Second by Dr. Prince. All in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. You good? Uh, next up, we have the election of the officers, which we do each year at this time. Um, so we, we elect the chairman and the vice chairman. I'll uh, entertain a motion first for the chairman's position for next year. I have a motion by Mr. Allen. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Sweeney. Uh, any other nominations? All in favor of uh, Mr. Marlin, please raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Next up, we have uh, the vice chairman for the same term. Is there a, uh, any nominations for vice chair? Mr. Chair, I can nominate Jason Sweeney. Have a second by Mr. Gladden. Are there any other nominations for vice chairman? Hearing none, all in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. I want to thank Dr. Prince for serving as vice chairman and chairman and vice chairman and chairman, as I've done, and I look forward to Mr. Steen coming on. I'm one year term limited of one more year, and I think it's good to have some new blood coming along in the council leadership and I encourage others to get involved so that we can uh, we can all have a, a turn at leadership of the council. So moving forward, the next item on the agenda, we have the approval of the minutes for the December 9th, 2014 meeting. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes as presented? Chair, I move we accept the minutes as printed. Uh, we have a motion by Dr. Prince. Is there a second? A second. Mr. Woods, all in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. You won't hear abstain uh, by Ms. Plato. She is absent. Uh, next up, we have a proclamation to be presented to Mr. Prentice Bostic. So I ask Mr. Bostic to come forward. here so long that we couldn't find the stone tablet that they wrote down when he first <laughs> retired. <laughs> but I know he was here when I got here and he was just barely getting out of school I So the proclamation reads, whereas Marble County Council wishes to acknowledge the contributions of Mr. Prince Bostic as an employee. 
employed in auto center recreation departments, and whereas this is currently possible for employed by the auto center recreation department for more than 30 years, and whereas this is currently possible for hired as an employee at the auto center on December 31st, 2015, and whereas this is currently possible to pay any positive contribution to our county and stay entirely in tremendous devotion for the quest to provide a better quality of life for the citizens of Marble County. Now, therefore, Marble County Council has approached the state of January 2015 to hereby recognize this important public service, tremendous commitment, and numerous contributions that Mr. Henry sponsored that have made a benefit to the county and its citizens, and wish him the very best of luck in his future endeavors. Congratulations. Next up, we have a report from uh, Mr. Robert Jordan of Hill and Jordan, our, our uh, external auditor. Thank 
here is one. None of that was funded. It was not funded. No, that was not the only funding liability that was funded. <coughs> one question on the uh, kitchen operator. I mean, I mean, <coughs> a benefit operator. If not, then I would direct you to page 34. Let me hear the set it aside or just show it on books. Do we have to physically have to set that money aside or to just show it in our no, books? No, they don't. It's just kind of like that other $120 okay. They can't they, they can do anything about it except basically 
I had one question, probably for staff. Um, the fees for services and the license permits and fees, what's the difference between those categories? One of them yeah, seems. One of them's like a $1.1 million. I didn't, that could be the county road service fee. It showed a deficit. And then the other one showed a positive of $118,000. So just curious. I'm looking at revenue. There's two different categories for fees. I'm just curious what they are. Under revenue, there's a category for fees for services that's a large number and had a deficit, small percentage-wise, but deficit. And then there's another category for license permits and fees, which was a huge positive variance. I was just curious what those. That's a one-time yeah, thing. Yeah, and then as far as the tax is concerned, that was another large increase. Half of that is related to motor vehicles. And then, uh, how about fees for services? The fees for services, it has, has, has to do with the amount that's reimbursed to the city for the pedestrian building up. It is not big enough uh, any longer. A million dollars, that, that's probably, you sure that's not the county road maintenance fee? Oh, no, I'm just saying what the variance was. Okay, okay. That's fine. I was just curious, and we can follow up later. Okay. Any other questions?
Okay. Any other questions? The auditor or staff? Okay, we have to take action later on to approve this. I'd ask that y'all hang around at least till that in case we have another question at that time. We'll move fairly quickly. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Okay, moving on to old business. Our first item is Ordinance 732. It is an ordinance, third reading of an ordinance to transfer land to be designated by Flake Board America Limited. Uh, Mr. Haynes, can you? Mr. Chairman, we've talked about this a couple of times. It hasn't changed. It's an encroachment or an easement uh, uh, to move some power lines around the building that's uh, going to be expand expanded or extended by what's now called a Ralco, but it's trying to do its work. They're still calling themselves Flake Board, so we, we've got their Flake Board. So we all know who that is. Uh, again, third reading, no changes. And it'll allow Margaret Electric to do their thing. Any uh, questions? Do I hear a motion we approve the third and final reading of Ordinance 732? Mr. Blackman, do I have a second? Anyone second? Second by Mr. Steen. Any further discussion? All in favor, please raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Next up is Ordinance uh, 733, which is an ordinance to postpone the implementation of revised values resulting from the equalization program reassessment. The second reading, uh, Mr. Haynes. Second reading of the, uh, of the ordinance to postpone the revaluation or reassessment. Uh, this would keep us in line with the process that we've been using, and we're already beginning to work some of the work ahead of, that we're doing ahead of time. Here's some mapping work and and uh, uh, valuation work of new buildings and new construction. So we're beginning to to, to do this, but all that will take place a year from now. This is necessary to keep, to keep us on schedule. Okay. Any questions from council? Do we hear a motion to approve second reading of Ordinance 733? So moved. Mr. Wood, is there a second? Ms. Plato? Any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Moving on to new business. The first item is Ordinance 734, which is an ordinance to provide for the renewal of a lease of certain property by the county for a solid waste convenience center in Wallace, South Carolina. It's the first reading. I assume this is our latest convenience center in yes. number nine? Yes. Just uh, a renewal. Convenience center in Wallace, we want to renew. Uh, it, it, at the time, uh, while, we're, while we're dealing with this, or during the time period, we may want to talk to the property owners about purchasing or trying to find land to purchase, but this, this is a good deal for the time being. We want to okay. keep it as it is and ready to go to purchase it soon as we can get a good deal for it there. Okay. Any questions? Any motion? So moved. Moved. Mr. Steen, seconded by Dr. Prince, uh, to pass first reading. Any other discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Will you start? Um, next on the new business is acceptance of the audit report that was just presented for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2014. Are there any other questions of staff or the auditor? If not, do I hear a motion? We approve, accept the audit report as presented. Um, moved by uh, Dr. Prince, seconded by Mr. Gladden. Any other discussion? Hearing none, let's uh, raise your right hand. Thank you. Unanimous. <coughs> uh, next up, appointment to boards and commissions. I know of none. Are there any? Uh, nope. Okay. And then we move on to reports. And our first one is our finance report from uh, Ms. Ainsley, Ainsley Moore. Any questions? Thanks. Next up is uh, Mr. Haynes, his report, administrative report. Mr. Chairman, members of the council, it's 
Time again to file your 2015 statement of economic interest at the ethics form that the state requires as elected and some appointed official. Your uh, <coughs> last day of filing is uh, March 30th of 2015. And it took two of us to work the way, work my way through the first three or four questions the other day for mine, so I, I'm just now beginning and we'll see how it goes. I don't think it's changed that much. I just forgot what my password is. copy of the brief in opposition to the petition for rid of uh, certiori has been filed with the U.S. Supreme Court by our attorneys that was uh, talked about the last meeting. A copy of the brief is attached in your, in your paperwork for your review and for, for you to have. As you know, and I know you see, because we talk about it a lot internally and send you notices about things going on, we continue to hear about the legislative proposal to give counties some responsibility for some of the state roads. Just recently, earlier this week, we received a survey form from the Association of Counties. They want to prepare some documentation saying this is how much it costs counties to take over these roads or to provide maintenance to these roads. Well, in talking to Sidney Wallace, we don't know what it might take to take over maintenance of roads. We don't do that kind of maintenance on, the, uh, on those kind of roads, and we don't know which roads we're talking about. So it's, that's going to be it's going to be kind of tough. We're going to come up with some numbers, and uh, Sidney and I will meet tomorrow or the next day. In fact, we're trying to get a copy of the state budget, the maintenance budget that the state uses for, for roads to give us some idea as to what maintenance might cost if the county were to take it on. And then, of course, we often point to places where it's not being done like it should be, so uh, maybe, maybe we ought to up the number of things like the county needs to do. But again, there's people working to try to prove to the legislators that uh, this may or may not be the, 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 a good idea for every county. Um, we've received continue to do some work on the, uh, the Blenheim School. We've got a, a good number that we were trying to contact earlier this week to get some restroom facilities made, in, made handicapped accessible. Uh, our card uh, monies would go, should we be funded, would go to uh, Blenheim Gym and, and continue to upgrade that. And the usage is still there. We're still getting that use on Thursdays and Sundays. And then uh, today, earlier, we had a group uh, that we gave permission if they were, if they lose the use of the uh, new gym at Blenheim because of basketball games being scheduled, they wanted to run a practice there on Tuesday night. So we, we can actually get some more use of the gym there. So it's, it's growing. Word's getting out. Uh, people are beginning to use it. And, and uh, seems to be working like we intended for it to. The, you may have in front of you, or you may have already seen, the, the cards that are, that, uh, are beginning to get out in the T-shirt that we 
I have one little thing. In, in the order on page 34, dealing with our um, pending litigation, um, Mr. Jordan gave us figures of 819,000, and I think I heard a figure of 650,000. I think I may have given you a bad number. Okay, I was hoping that the 650,000 would be the right number. There are numbers going to be accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Exactly.
Okay. Well, just to be clear for the record and for anybody who's watching or, or the press, what, what they're referring to is we've spent $819,000 on legal fees to fight the landfill, not $600,000. Different firms, but the fellow yeah. who's here was reporting some lesser amount, but that was the history right. of the firm, I think, and we, we had a history before that of, 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 of being pretty independent, but uh, mm -hmm. that's the essence of the Okay. Thank you, Mr. Haynes. Yes, sir. I don't believe anyone signed up to speak. Uh, next, we have the recognition of uh, council members. Uh, start down here this time. Mr. Gladden. Thank you, Mr. Church. Uh,
We got to run, do that. We got to join forces. We got to get in there. We got to be just gonna work out this program, get this thing going, join it. I mean, that's what we're talking about. That's the whole world. You know? So this is what they do. And we don't do it, we're gonna stay stuck. Last year, every year, we ain't supposed to be changing what the start is. So I know that's just gonna make it <laughs> Well, yeah. Fortunately or unfortunately, we don't time you, so you're okay. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. <laughs> 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 Mr. Allen, you're closer to it. Now. <coughs> okay. Mr. Blackman. No, no. Dr. Springer. I'd like to wish everybody a new year and uh, a lot of work to be done in 2015. A lot of problems Mr. Blatton um, brought forth, some issues and concerns. Um, my biggest concern is revenue. We can't do what we want to do for our citizens and for our employees. Uh, we must find industry appropriate for uh, demographics in our county. That's just the bottom line. And those folks down in Columbia must do what they're supposed to do with the local government plan. We cannot survive. If they continue to cut us, then we need to cut the unfunded mandates that they are saying we have to um, fulfill. If they cut us 4%, we need to cut them 4%. Um, budget times are hard, personally and county. Uh, listening to the auditor and the kinds of things that we are responsible for, the kinds of things we need in the county. We need jobs, we need um, better education opportunities <coughs> for people that are out of school and other things. So I agree with a lot of the things that Mr. Blackman has said. Everybody's got to work together. You know, just check the egos at the door and let's get something done for the county. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mr. Spee? Uh, I want to thank council members for uh, voting for me as vice chair. I want to thank Dr. Prince. Uh, I know she's done an exceptional job. I watched her as a citizen and, uh, you know, the, what she did as chairman and vice chairman and working together. And I think the council has worked together over uh, the past few years real good. And I want to continue to try to do that. And just echo is what they said. You know, some of the bigger counties we've seen uh, the other day were Spartanburg County. One of the bigger counties is... Uh, He's talking about it. They're, they're not funded at the local government fund level, and their numbers are huge compared to what we're not funded at, but a huge county like that, if the local government fund's that important to them, imagine how it is to a, a smaller county. So, uh, And they are going to take some drastic measures, and well, as others said, you know, as council members, we may have to, we're going to have to at least look at that. You know, and, uh, I just, every, every, th every letter we get says their, their delegation is opposing, you know, or supporting 100% funded local government fund, but whenever it comes down, I mean, that we're hearing that it's not funded. So somewhere, somewhere along the line, they're telling the wrong things is what we're hearing. So, uh, but uh, well, we've got a lot of work to do, and we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot and see what we can do in 2015. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Plato. First, I'd like to say Happy New Year to everybody, because I don't think I've seen nobody in since last year. Mm -hmm. so happy, 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 happy. No, I didn't have to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'd like to say Happy New Year to everybody, and I look forward to continuing working with the council. And um, we've come a long way, but yet we got a long ways to go. And we're going to run over a lot of bumps, but I hope that we can find ways to work around those bumps and hurdle over. We are, uh, I'd like to say that we work good together, and uh, I think uh, Mr. Munnan said in a statement that he made, regardless of how we work, we don't have some disagreement, but we can do some civil disagreement, and uh, that's true, and we're going to have those, but we need to find ways to grow, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy about the uh, bookmobile that's coming, and that Mr. M uh, McGraw and her staff at the library, they're doing a wonderful job over there. And just like Ms. Ms. Dr. Prince said, it's more than just handing out books over there. It's a job, and uh, we really appreciate the work that you do. Also, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Haynes, Mr. Easterly, Ms. Bundy, Ms. Bundy, and Ms. McQueen for the job y'all do. And uh, I really appreciate everything y'all do to help, help us out. And all the county workers and employees, the heads and the uh, employees, all the work that they do in the county, we really appreciate it. And um, but there's always room for improvement, and we're working toward that. Uh, also, let me see what else I want to say to you. I think that's about it. Um, 
also to the uh, to uh, Mr. Blackman, I would like to uh, say that I'll, I'll be visiting your daughter after a while. <laughs> it, it won't be long, and I, and I know you thrilled to death about that, and I'm really happy for you. But I will be going to see her. So, so I think that's all I have to say. But I just look forward to working with everybody. And we got a year to go ahead with, uh, we're going to work. We're going to work. And the last year, we're still fighting with that, but we're going to fight to the bitter end with it. We're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. And uh, I think that's about all I have to say. I need an amen after that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the, um, the some of the um, um, problems we have. In 2015, we gave um, a statement that our chapter said, our military, yesterday, last year, five years ago, that's over with. That's finished. So they don't need for us to hop on what was done in the past. If you continue to look in the past and say what was wrong, I can't move forward. But we also need to think about what was done in the past. Um, Senator Williams, Senator Malloy, I would represent Clio. Clio is above my area. So Clio first. The county and Clio, the highest level. And Senator Williams and Senator Malloy and Senator Jackson Hayes had helped Clio in 2014. They had a meeting in December. Um, extended their hand and their knowledge and their support in our financial situation in Clio. So, um, you know, if when you when you lash out at anybody, including myself and everybody in here, we need to get all our data first and foremost. But um, with um, Ms. Honorable uh, Patricia Henderson coming in before to the fold. We as a council, like I agree with Mr. Gladden, we all need to take a step back, forget what happened in the past, and say, let's, what can we do now for 2015, 2016, 2017? That's what's important. Nothing but in the past. We all have a past. Some good, some bad. But we cannot hop on something that in the past and hope and pray that we do something in the future. We know what we got to do. And first and foremost, we got to swallow ego and say, what about our city? Let's do this first and foremost. What we need to do? What can we do to help economic development? What can we do to help school board? What can we do to help our employees? That's what we need to do. You know, we need to come together and we know who the power to be. The power to be or the power to be. You know, that hasn't changed. But we got to voice our say. But when you start cussing and, and accusing and saying, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. Everybody's going to close up like this time. Everybody got the truth for it. Ain't nobody going to come. And then we'll be right in the same way we're in. So I know um, for a fact that, um, um, and since it's on William, we get to focus, the two or three folks that we got, because he's on top of that. A little bit of um, disrespect. So he's going to drip that way over. You know, he's got like an old district. In my district, hey, I don't go to district two. I ain't got no vote for that. That's my bread and butter. My people is in Clyde. I talk to my people in Clio. Miss Allen, we talk to people in Clio. Everybody talks about our own area first and foremost, and then we come as a group to uh, say that what can I help you with? You know, so, uh, you know, but like I said, that's, it's a new day. Don't worry about last year. Don't worry about 2007, 2011. Don't worry about 2015 first and foremost. That's all. Thank you. Anybody? Got a lot to say, and we, I agree that we need to move forward with uh, everything we do and give people an opportunity to to have a new day and, and, yeah. and uh, act differently if there's been problems in the past or whatever, including us. So uh, we'll see where that goes. Um, I want to thank you all for your vote, Chairman, next year. I appreciate that, and I'll do my best to do a good job with that. Um, I, for the last few years, we've had a little strategic planning meetings the first day every year, and it's think it'd be appropriate to have one before the February meeting. I assume, uh, or I don't assume, but I, I would think we would have it as a work session before the regular meeting. We've done that in the past. Does that suit everyone? We'll try to work that out and get back with you. and But we can um, set some goals or some direction for staff to go as they prepare the budget and as we move forward. 2014 for me personally in business and all was a very tough year. A lot going on and I feel like didn't get a lot done, and I felt that way about the council as well. 
not necessarily anybody's fault, but just there are a lot of uh, open doors, as, as Councilman Woods always says, that I'd like to see us try to, to shut. And two particular uh, issues that uh, I feel like we should focus on are economic development, as always, and take a, with staff, take a hard look at that and see if, you know, if there's any different strategies or something we can do differently uh, to have, uh, have better results. And also to make sure we're all in sync with appropriate industries and sites and that sort of thing. And the other is recreation. Um, we've made some improvement. We did make some improvements with the Bloom Gym, and um, but there are other things we can potentially do. Uh, I don't want to spend all the taxpayers' money or send up the fund balance, but if if we were going to spend the money we can free up, it ought to be on those two things. Um, we have seen uh, some positive results from past economic development activities, like the Tri County Industrial Park. We're starting to see tax revenue there. The one down on 95. Uh, it takes uh, years sometimes to see the fruits of our labor. And uh, I think it's just a good time to take an inventory and assessment of where we are and what we've done and, and things that we can try to do differently. So that's my sermon for you today. <laughs> and, uh, anyone else have anything to say? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. Grand Mr. Steen, all in favor, raise your right hand. Thank you. Thank you.